Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Afrobeat Germany. My name is Samson Amoja Itodo, and with me today I've got Mr. Arafat, formerly known as DJ Arafat, who oh. has been in the music scene in Berlin, Germany for a while. Now he's been roving all over Europe doing his music. He's, he's into also music management. He works with some uh, musicians with whom I've interviewed before. You've probably seen in, in some of my video before. And we have a lot to unload to talk about today about the German music industry, the African music industry, what is happening within Ghana and Nigeria and as a whole. So <laughs> there's a lot of discussion. That's why I have. I pulled him out on a Sunday afternoon where he's supposed to be taking his rest. I pulled him out because I have a lot of questions for him and I want us to have a discussion. So Mr. Arafat, yeah. I called you Mr. I'm used to knowing you as, as DJ Arafat <laughs> in the past. So tell us, what do you think is happening in the German music Afrobeat industry? Why is it quiet? You into reggae, Afrobeat, and what's happening here? Um, I think um, we, 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 we can sort of say that we have been um, sidelined side um, in, in the sense that uh, we are only involved uh, when the, the European uh, or the Europeans are into production or into shooting or, the, um, or having uh, an entertainment event. Uh, this is when um, we are sort of the uh, how do you call it? Uh, the, co the colored stones uh, uh, that people now look for. You mm. understand? Um, in Europe, um, we've we've hardly had any um, big uh, event company or production company of or any sort of African, whatever you want to call it, company that has survived or had uh, has been able to make an impact. Uh, uh, and um, I think it's going to take a couple of more years to establish that or get the opportunity to do that. All right. I think um, for any music industry or any um, anything at all right now to to grow, you need attention. You need uh, you need you need the light to be shine upon you. You need a focus. Exactly. And um, they say, oh, any type of publicity is publicity, negative or bad, still publicity. <laughs> and uh, there's somebody in Africa that is doing quite right. That's making use of it right now properly. Shata Wale. Shata Wale is having mm. a go with the Nigerian musicians, the artists, the Afrobeat industry, and uh, the Nigerian music industry as a whole. He's having a go with them. He's attacking them. What's your take on that? Do you think what he's doing is um, working for him? Um, I would say yes and no. Because uh, for every uh, decision a musician makes or takes without his management or without, uh, uh, how do you call it, the, the overall outcome being a positive outcome, we can, we can expect a backlash and we can also expect at one hand that the, the, the musician uh, is able to make some sort of impact with it, uh, be it um, selling or promotion of new, uh, new album or uh, however you can call it. Oh. Um, but um, with Shatawale, I wouldn't say um, personally, I know Shatawale. Oh, you know him personally? Yeah, I know him personally. Okay. I know him before he became Shatawale. I know him when he was uh, um, Berna, uh, I said Berna, Bandana, mm -hmm. uh, when they used to uh, um, uh, showcase uh, most of their, their new uh, tracks or, or new albums in places like Akuma Village in Accra mm -hmm. or Labadi Beach. Uh, during the uh, so-called contest between him and uh, Stoneboy and the other reggae uh, musicians. Well, Shatawali has, um, he has a way of um, bringing out uh, uh, information or making out uh, a point. Mm. Um, sometimes it can come out uh, how you, somebody would say the Zongo lifestyle mm -hmm. or, or, or the street uh, 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 way of saying, this is what you do. Mm. And people um, sort of take it always uh, to be uh, he's attacking, but he's always having a point. point yeah. The point Shata was trying to make is um, you can make comparisons from um, Nigerian movies, and Shata wasn't only attacking musicians yeah. or, or the Grammy Award winners. Yeah. Uh, Shata point went on uh, um, specifically on the promotion. Uh, and, and the efforts that the Ghana industry, the Ghana music and uh, entertainment video industry is making on uh, um, 
the Nigerian industry. Mm. Uh, um, we can take, for example, uh, uh, um, there's no, we can say, 10% of Afri uh, Ghanaian, Afri uh, Ghanaian African movies are being played in Nigeria. Mm. But we can take it to be 95% of uh, Nigerian. But don't you tie down to the kind of the quality of what if you if you if there's something if something is good people will be compelled to 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 uh, to move towards it. Don't you think? Don't you see it from that point? I think um, I see it to be 50 50. Okay. Well, uh, uh, um, on one hand, uh, Nigeria's production is really expanded. Uh, I, I know uh, close to seven to ten movies that I'm personally involved in in Ghana that mm. were produced and shot in Ghana mm. as Nigerian movies, uh, that were also shot and produced as Ghana Nigerian movies in, in Accra and uh, the outskirts. Um, Nigerians have um, the finance to publish, produce. Mm. They have the finance to explore. Mm. They have the, 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 the production uh, in their hand mm. where they can say, uh, we're producing in Ghana mm. and we, we, we're spending, let's say, 50% of our budget to uh, uh, explore or expand it more in Ghana. Mm. The thing is that Ghanaians watch so much of these movies, mm. not only Nigerian movies, but in movies in general. Mm. It got to a time and it's, it, it, it was also helped by the, 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 the TV stations, the, the radio stations, the uh, advertisement platforms. Mm. But in, we don't have this kind of platforms in, 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 in Nigeria. Mm. The Ghanaians don't have, have these this platform. platforms in Nigeria. Mm. And this is where we have to look at. And the Nigerians also have to uh, acknowledge mm -hmm. uh, uh, how beneficial the industry is to you, them. In this instance, now, is, is, is it, has, has it anything to do with the musicians and themselves or the, the, um, the people in the entertainment business, the, the people who do the business aspect of the music uh, stuff? I think it has to do with, uh, um, I won't, uh, uh, I don't want to go on patronizing um, just Ghana movies mm. because we're working collectively mm. as a, a cultural body, uh, as an African body, as a movie industry, mm. where we say the Nigerian Ghana industry, movie mm. industry. Mm. Um, uh, on one hand, we have the, the Nigerian uh, producers making more impact in Ghana. Mm. Uh, because they have the finance. Mm. They are, they are, they are financially, when you speak about any production, when you speak about be it movie production or the music production, your biggest problem is finance. Okay, now how, um, how do you think now, okay, this Nigerian, the Nigerian industry has more finance. Yeah. How do you think now they can um, accommodate uh, because of their huge, because of the availability of finance, how do you think they can help involve and get the, 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 the Ghanaian and, and music industry into, this, in, into, the, into the Nigerian market? Because the Nigerian market is huge and the, 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 the Nigerian market is huge, but it's huge outside Nigeria. Mm. It's patronized outside Nigeria. Yeah. Mm. We, or I, as uh, uh, somebody who has experience in music mm. and video or mm. um, uh, uh, video shooting and stuff like that, mm. I can say that the Nigerian movie industry or music industry mm. has a breeding ground in Ghana. Oh, no. Okay. So, but how can the Nigerian industry now help the Ghanaians? Uh, uh, I cannot. I cannot influence a Nigerian producer to produce a Ghanaian uh, a Ghanaian artist or mm. a Ghanaian movie. Okay. It's, it's, it, uh, they all go in. Uh, what What is going to benefit me? Am I going to make money from this movie that I'm producing or this musician that I'm helping? Okay. Everything goes in hand in hand. Okay. And um, we have um, our cultural and uh, language difference. Mm. The uh, Nigerians have. Um, the pidgin English mm. and a little bit of traditional language Languages. Mm. mixed uh, uh, in, 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 uh, in their movies. Mm. But in Ghana, we have the Ashanti language, mm. we have the English language. Mm. And when it's so uh, uh, fused, you have so much of uh, the Ashanti language, mm. uh, a little bit of the English language mm. uh, spoken not uh, properly. Mm. And this is uh, the difference between our industry mm. and, the, the, uh, and the Nigerian industry. Okay. So what do you think? The, the pidgin English is working more for the Nigerian news. Yeah, because the Ghanaians like uh, pidgin, pidgin English. English. They understand pidgin, pidgin English. Okay. And the traditional background and setup from the Nigerian um, movies mm. is not only from Ghana or the, the, the Nigerian culture. 
this is what influences the Ghana culture too. What mm. people like to watch, people like to uh, 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 like four sticks, uh, proverbs, mm. uh, uh, traditional okay, activities, yeah, yeah. ritual. Mm. Uh, when you come to the action, mm. everything is different from the way Ghana yeah, produces yes, produce it. Mm. But like I say, everything comes from money. money. Okay, um, I'm going to take my jacket first of all because it's getting the cold is getting too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a kind of a bit cold here. So I'm taking my jacket to pimp up myself to make myself look. Um, one thing again, do you think um, Shatawale did a bad job of delivering his message? It could, it, it, she, could he have, could he have uh, delivered his message to the Nigerian industry better than how he did it? Yeah, I think um, Shatawale has always uh, the tra a, tra <laughs> a very good way of uh, providing a, a tragic accident. <laughs> you know, that, you know, when somebody goes on the street feeling comfortable that I, I don't make an accident, but Shatawale goes and says, boom, 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 boom. Let, me you know, let me just destroy it. Let me destroy it. <laughs> this is okay. The good thing is that I want to bring out my information. The Nigerian, the way he brought it out, the way Shatawale always speaks, the way he always addresses this is every mm -hmm. issue puts Shatter in a problem. This is why they call him the big man. Mm. You know? But do you think he's winning from this now? Because this could be a win-win for him. He's winning more than Bernaboy at this stage mm -hmm. because uh, Shatawale has a standard uh, that he has built for himself. So an image that he has built for himself. You know, when you so see, he's dirty. When you see a caricature <laughs> on the street, <laughs> he said he's a pig. He said he's a pig. You know, <laughs> this guy is a caricature. He said he's, he's a pig. Let's go dirty. <laughs> Better boy, um, 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 let's say within the last two years, mm. has come has been on the platform, has mm. been in the showbiz business. Mm. Even though Bernaboy has been uh, over 15 years in the industry, mm. he wasn't known to so many uh, Afro musicians, Afro clubs. Yeah. It just got started being known about five years ago, I think so. You know, and, and the thing is that Bernaboy and Samini, uh, I said Samini, sorry, uh, Shatawali, they have a very good, they had a good relationship. Mm. They had good times in Ghana. They had good communications. They know each other. A, a little bit too well to know that uh, this guy did this uh, this time, mm. this guy did, you know. They know their, their dirty things. They know they are inside out, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Bernard Boy was in Ghana, made an impact because of Shatawalit's uh, advancement mm -hmm. in the industry. Everybody used an advantage, including mm -hmm. not only musicians in Ghana, mm -hmm. but in Nigeria too. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria too. And um, now that Bernard Boy has been able to Hold the Grammy before the Grammy, mm. people were even seeing Bernard Boy as, let's say, the Grammy Award winner. Mm. I think there's a little bit uh, misunderstanding between Too the two of them. Yeah, and um, the fact is that uh, Shatter made his point clear mm. at how he assisted Bernard Boy, mm. but he also made the point clear at how nobody has been assisted by the, um, the Nigerian music by, by, yeah, by the Nigerian uh, music industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, has, it is not only from Bernard Boy, it was uh, with Two Face with v, uh, VP, uh, VVIP those days. It has always been so that um, and, uh, Ghanaians accept Nigerians in Ghana for production that will assist both of them. But you never see the opportunity go vice versa. So. Okay. Um, no. Um, there's this whole publicity around these teams whereby everybody's tapping for him. For yeah. Why is it that um, the, the German music industry is not using advantage of this? Well, not getting mixed up in, in this whole thing that's happening. It's, it's a way going to draw publicity. Why are we not using this opportunity? Um, uh, first of all, we don't have a platform. We don't have any recognized platform. We are not recognized in any way. Yeah. Um, for the past uh, 15, 20 years, every event, African event that has been produced mm. uh, and played in uh, Germany has been done by the Europeans mm. and partially with a little bit of assistance from the, uh, the African society or mm. the half-colored society. Mm. And which doesn't really uh, uh, have any impact on our societal existence in Europe, mm. or doesn't give us uh, the, the the notion that we exist apart from that we go to spend a little bit of money, dance, uh, drink one or two beers, and uh, we we go back home. And um, if an African company or an African institution can make any effort with anything that is 
forthcoming or that's going to help us to be uh, a little bit visible in Europe. Mm. It will take um, more than uh, what is happening on TV or, or, or what is happening on the entertainment news to make any impact. I have a question. Um, do you think there's a market for Afrobeat? Uh, 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 is there a market in the, not, not the European community, first of all, not, not, I'm talking about the, 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 the uh, Africans in Germany. Is there, is there enough Africans to foster the Afrobeat market here? Um, I will say one thing for sure. Um, you can count or compare any Afro shop that has existed in any region in Europe. That Afro shop exists till today. Mm. Uh, we have a way of surviving. We have an untapped economy mm. or uh, um, uh, muse, uh, uh, entertainment uh, uh, event uh, uh, business that is untapped. Mm. Uh, 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 what I can say is that so, uh, we're looking at uh, the, the European investors and the African investors. Mm. You can uh, get, let's say, 10 uh, in Berlin and you can get zero in Berlin for African production or the entertainment. Mm. What's, it? What's, what's, what's the reason? Is it cash? Is, is it it's finance. finance. It's, 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 it's totally on finance. Nothing else is holding an African But there are funds. There are funds and there are cultural funds for such things. How, 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 is it, has it been our fault that we don't know how to assess these funds? Um, yeah, and no. As Africans, we have uh, been labeled uh, uh, by some of the European institutions as, let's say, lazy, yeah. uh, 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 not worth investing. We have uh, 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 societies like in Canada and UK being invested. Uh, being given gi opportunity, uh, getting proper attention. Mm. The only institutions here in Europe that are getting a little bit of attention from the financial institutions or the, the government is uh, uh, stuff that have to do with racism, mm. uh, and which, from my point of view, I think it encourages racism because mm. it it doesn't bring any prospect of mm. the African society mm. than what we already know. Mm. Uh, from the African lives mm. uh, uh, than what we have to show outside that we are capable of. Okay. We have no platform. Okay, but I want to say something. You, you know, uh, power is not given, it is taken. Yes, exactly. Power is, it's not given, it is taken. Yes. So how do we, the Afro community in Germany, take this power and uh, make ourselves relevant? Um, now, what can we do about this? What do you think can be effective? Uh, the first question, I will, I, will, I will answer this question with a question. Okay. There are so many uh, um, NGOs on, for example, our TV sets in Germany, in Australia, Switzerland, having uh, funds being raised for the development of African society, communities, mm. children don't have food and stuff. Mm. How much of this money do we know of that come in our society for the last 15-20 years? I think, 15, I think they're, years. they're just battering our image to, to create fun for them, to create jobs for themselves. Exactly. So if we are having activities in, in our names that we don't see the benefits, we don't see the impact in the African society, why do we take part in that? Mm. Why don't we come and say, nah, that's, this, this is not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not helping us. It's not helping us. It's not acceptable. Mm. Put this money into something that will build a structure mm. for the African society to depend on, rely on, mm. uh, based on security, based on uh, 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 human rights, based on uh, uh, economic development. This, this is a very huge point that needs to be talked about. You know, like this um, raising funds in our name without affecting our society is a real big problem. But now, let me go back. How do we take back the, the German Afrobeat community? How do we take back the power and put attention to us? How do we regroup within ourselves? First, um, um, I'm very disappointed in artists like Shatawali, mm -hmm. in artists like Bernaboy, mm -hmm. in artists like Dovido, Davido, uh, 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 whiskey than the rest, mm. because they know uh, their beginnings in Europe. Mm -hmm. They were here in Europe when they were started when they started uh, uh, coming for a gig for thousand five hundred, two thousand mm. euro. Mm -mm. It, it was up to fifteen thousand, mm. twenty five thousand, and we were carrying fifteen thousand. And as soon as it starts getting to five thousand euro, it is the European. Yeah, so they left. They left the African community that supported them to the certain level, Kidnapped. and they left. And they left. 
Exactly. So uh, you you build uh, uh, you, you 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 use the African to get your your your, your roots in, in in the European body, mm. and then after that you you ignore the promoters totally. But would you blame them? Would you, would you look at it as just as just business, or would you blame them? In, in what way are they at for this this? Because the market drives the the the, the, um, drive the, drive um, the game. Um, um, with the music industry. Mm. Uh, um, Shouldn't we be building with them as they are growing also? Yeah, but how do we build with them when they are building outside us? Mm. Why, when they are leaving us behind? How do we how do we match it on? Because, uh, I, for example, I used to be a DJ mm. today and um, I have a concept or I have uh, an African uh, 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 history behind me. Mm. When I put uh, two or three musicians on a play, music playlist mm. and it's playing, I think about the impact these musicians have made in Africa, mm. and I think about the impact these musicians have made in Europe. Mm. When you think about, um, let's say, Akon, for example, we spoke about Akon some mm -hmm. time ago. Mm -hmm. He's one of the African musicians who still remember his roots mm. or invest in his roots. Mm. They make over, let's say, $2 billion, uh, $2 billion in, let's say, in two or three year career. Mm. This whole money goes to the industry in mm, Europe. Mm. They forget that before they got into the industry in Europe, they didn't have studios in their region. Mm. They didn't even have a radio station mm. in their region. They didn't even know where to pick taxi to go to to go to play one or two jingles mm. or to promote their, their music in the radio station. Mm, mm. Today, their music is automatically played in every radio station in Africa. Mm. But is it the same cost? that the African musician has to deal with today. Mm. They have the, they've had the opportunity mm -hmm. to make themselves bigger. What of those who are well, left behind in the society? Mm. Some of them died in the sea to mm. get into Europe. Some of them had to sell themselves to mm. make mm. What, uh, what is happening today. What is happening? To, is it going to be our longest trend? Mm. Okay, you, you know, um, sometimes they say, uh, as the fame and power comes, fame, money and power comes into play, sometimes you tend to forget um, where you come your from. from. Is there any way that we, like from the, um, I'm talking, because I basically want to deal with the issue with the um, German-based Afro community, Afro beat community. Is there any way we can remind these people? Is there any way we can inform them? Is there any way we can make noise in the media or write them or get them to know, okay, you're forgetting this. Is there any way we can uh, remind them about this? Um, I think yeah and no, because it's, uh, it's a personal decision of every individual, unless uh, something bites him in the ass in, 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 uh, in, in Africa. Mm. Because when we have a, a, a collective uh, a decision that, hey, African promoters, we are not promoting no African musician till we get what we also get, like mm. what we call strike. Davido will not be played. Davido will not be played in Germany anymore, in no club. Benabo will not be played in no club. Samini or Shatawale Can we, can do, can or, we control that? Can we, we? we can do that. How? But that means that the, 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 the African DJ has no job more to play Afrobeats in his market. You know, because you know, if you, if you stop the African DJs, the European DJs are going to play. If you stop them from um, promoting them your concerts, they have Europeans now, so that no, they, they, they have the platform. They already have the Europeans market. Uh, promoting their platform. So how, so how do you want to control? How do we control this? Uh, that's what I'm saying. We have to... Uh, I want to make something very clear to you. There's no European company mm. that exists in Europe mm. without an African connection. Mm. There's no way a European will bring an African here mm. without having Africans in his ring. Mm. We are as assisting these business people to take away this market from these small people. Okay, you, okay, you mean uh, you, okay? It's still the same old story that yeah. that, that, that there's always one 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 person within you that is going to make it work for them. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. So we have to take a straight. Can we point. identify these people and then take control of them? Um, this um, there's one example that I made uh, uh, in our last conversation. This mm. um, street life, uh, uh, Berlin or Germany. Mm. Uh, street life, like I told you those times, is a recognized uh, uh, company that mm. started little by little, slowly and mm. small. Mm. 
they started with playing hip hop stars like Nas, these people, that people. They get, they, they, they got the African society and community into a ring. Mm. You understand? This woman like this, uh, uh, for example, she has a prospect, mm. and she doesn't book a musician mm. without the advice of an African. Mm. And she's got the cash. She's got the cash. You understand? She cannot know from him, especially when she doesn't even like the music from Burna Boy, mm. to play Burna Boy in Africa, uh, in Berlin. So to make it's, money. Just, it's still going to be an African. So if they bring this guy, it's going to make you money. You know. Okay. And this is the thing because. Um, I can. Um, the last time we, we spoke uh, live, I, I made prospect about uh, uh, groups or the boys groups like Saudi Soul mm. and uh, uh, Burner Boy and then uh, uh, Whiskey. Whiskey and then, you know, some of these people are being targeted so. And they have a way to make it and a way to win. And this is the only event playing African mm. Afro music. music now. Okay. There's not even one African uh, 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 promoter who is involved or the, who has uh, alone been able. And when an African promoter gets the chance, there are two, uh, uh, let's say, two to fifty percent chance that the show can be a flop or a mess up. There's every possible thing done to hinder an African promoter. From mm. existing or having oh, what, a big achievement. What do you think? Guys? What is thing? What do you think? Give us an example of what is being done to hinder an African. One to get a, a, a very a, a good and educated place like Colombia Harley. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I have to produce uh, several documents. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, after the documents were were, were produced, uh, um, let's say uh, I needed a place rented in the next two weeks. Uh, after two weeks, uh, they were still expecting certain documents from me. Uh, uh, then after that, uh, there was something like, oh, we didn't know that all your documents were presented. I, I forwarded it to this man, this man will contact you. And then from there, uh, what and what is our security that this money will be paid and blah, blah, blah. You know, like as soon as you get there, people uh, sort of think, oh, he doesn't even have money to pay the rent. Mm. He doesn't even have money to pay the you, security. But, but do you think um, um, street life gets the same, the same treatment like you get? Not at all. How do you think so? Uh, this is a German company. Mm. They, are, they, are, they are applauded by Africans even when they don't do any good. Mm. Like we, we, we say, come, come right, come, come in. You understand? When uh, they have a show, trust me, even Yam will give them a place cost free. Mm. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, they will get a place for free. You this understand? And uh, for example, before they even started playing in Mercedes, small arena and stuff, stuff like that, there were there was the opportunity that we could also write in partnership with these uh, uh, organizations and stuff. But you find out that it's always uh, uh, they always want to hit on a high range where you cannot reach. You cannot reach, and, they, and, and they give them an opportunity from a lower stage to grow. They, they, there's this opportunity for them to grow. But then, what can, can, can we solve? My, my issue is, uh, yeah, we have these things going on. There, uh, is there any way we can salvage this situation? Yeah, we can do that by uh, 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 taking a, a smart approach on the activities that have, uh, have been happening in the past five years, uh, taking proper notice of how and uh, where it was done and how it affected us, especially the African uh, entertainment or music or video industry. Mm -hmm. And also taking our necessary step to change the approach, to let people understand what the benefits and what uh, we're losing as Africans uh, 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 in this, in this uh, situation. Okay. You know, I like to interview you, you know, because I... I like the way that you're speaking from a very strong perspective. You have your angle that you're speaking from, your perspective yeah. and your viewpoints. How many people in the African music, in the Afri German based African music industry are, are seeing things from your point of view? Because that's, that's one problem. Because if we have a collective, a pack of people, then we can, we can effect change. But you alone and a few number of us cannot effect change. How um, many? Do you um, think do we have enough? Uh, one, I think we don't have enough, but we, do, we don't need enough. We need a collective body. Okay, like for example now, I know the... Sorry to say this. Do you think the Af German based Af the African kids that were born, or the mixed African kids that are born in Germany, do you think they, they have... Would they, they, would they rather work with you or work with uh, Street Life? 
I think um, when I'm able to get a, a, a platform where people are, are able to understand my point of view, mm. they'll be able to they'll work with me. Mm. But it's entertainment. As it start as it start stands now, yeah. do you think African kids that were born here, yes, or the mixed African kids that are born here, yes, do you th who would they prefer to work with at this if point? If I'm being given um, a quarter of the opportunities of street life. Mm -hmm. Street life will not exist. Okay, but do you think they will understand your perspective of what you're saying now? Collectively, yeah. They will understand it. They will understand it. But I, I'm, and so, do you think you can have, if you have the opportunity to have a one on one word with them, you could change minds? Uh, I think I wouldn't uh, need to change mind. Mm. Um, um, the, the, there's no African, half African, in Europe for the last 10 years who doesn't know the living of a black man mm. or a half black man in Europe. So you, and who, who does it understand the reasoning that we should have a body to protect us, we have a body to assist us in everything that we do. It doesn't matter if it starts from music, entertainment, or, uh, or, 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 or law organizations or whatever how you call it. Okay. We're living in a strange world mm. where we have loss of power, mm. where we don't even know where and how to use it. Okay. Okay, I get, I, get, I get your point. I get your point. So that means there's still hope and there's this. So we need an organization. Okay, we're, I'm, we're working with an organization called the German Afrobeat All Stars. Mm -hmm. Do you think an organization like that, a body like that, if it's well registered and then and, and be is able, because we have some mixed, everybody's mixed in it, do you think we can pull together and then effect change positively? Um, perfectly, and why not? And why not? Um, like I said, um, for an African organization or society, you need more than just a name to exist. Mm -hmm. But when you compare it to a European society or company, for example, Street Life, and I would like to, uh, from next, not use Street Life mm -hmm. because they are not the only company. Mm -hmm. uh, com uh, it's not the only company mm -hmm. in Germany. Mm -hmm. Without a structure, Street life exists okay. already. Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, it takes no uh, just uh, street life to walk into an office to say hello. We we are street life. We play this. this, this. We're mm -hmm. from Germany. Uh, yeah, uh, we are stereotyped from the door. You're walking into the door. You've been stereotyped already. Yeah, you know. So they they've been given a soft landing ground, which is understandable. This is their society, and we, we are here. No, it's not only because it's the society. It's because um, some of us who have had the little opportunities have also messed up the opportunity. Okay, but this is where I'm also not uh, I'm totally agreeing with myself mm. because we all deserve the same chance and opportunity to build whatever we want to build. Mm. It doesn't matter whether you are European, German, Ghana, Africa, whatever. Mm. Mm. The Europeans have an opportunity uh, where they use as human beings. Why don't we deserve the same opportunity just because two or three people have made mistakes? There are hundreds of thousands of Europeans who have made mistakes, but it will never be seen as compared to the two people who made mistakes let's say the, next, the last 15 years. Mm. And this will be carried on us, so and we, we are carrying that on us. We have, we have been prejudiced from a, a, a mistakes of and the And we film. are also accepting it. We are okay. accepting the fact that when I go here, uh, Mr. A and so and so will say, uh, Mr. B and B did this mistake. No, we have to go for it, we have to take it, we have to fight for it, we mm. have to, oh, like on. you said, uh, uh, you don't get nothing for free. You have to take it. You have to take it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I, I'll leave it at that because um, we really need to fight for it. And, um, D Mr. Arafat, I used to call him DJ. Don't, don't be confused when I always come in with the DJ in between. He has, it's, he has really shed a lot of light about the situation that we're in and how we need to survive in this society and how we need to build our industry. Ladies and gentlemen, check out Arafat, Mr. Arafat, can, please, can, where can we find you online? Where can you be found online? Because you need to get in contact with this man. We need to build something together. So where can you be found online? Uh, just uh, type the name Arafat, Berlin. Or um, DJ Arafat, formal, uh, formerly of uh, Rock FM Ghana, uh, former correspondent for Voice of America, Upper East Region. I'm also there, or you can just Google Find me Terewunde Arafat Karim on Facebook. You find all other links that you 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 want to you are interested in. Ladies and gentlemen, 
you are music you're into you're, you're into the you're a musician out there and you're looking for somebody to work with in terms of management i could recommend this guy to you yeah, i think but it, we don't take lazy people no, <laughs> no lazy people you have to put in the work so it's uh, the, mr arafat is out there and also don't forget to check out afrobeast germany online on all online platform and also we have our youtube channel uh, i to do on uh, youtube and afrobeast germany also on youtube on afrobeast germany on all other um, platform also you find us there and this video is going to be on our facebook and all our platforms check out this video you're going to watch it we're going to because we're going to break it down bits by bit and also i want to add one thing um we are also um and uh, how we call it underground trying to uh, uh, build up an African radio station in Berlin beautiful uh, we are still on the prospects and structure and uh, we'll be excited when it comes out that people will also not only donate but also share uh, 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 as much as possible on every social media that we can also get the impact uh, driven here whatever situations that the African societies are facing not only in Berlin but uh, German as Germany as a whole, we can work together to bring it out on, on the media platforms, be it photos, be it uh, attacks from the police, uh, be it uh, 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 harassment in bars, restaurants, any sort of racism activity. Uh, but we are not only interested in racism, we are interested in the development of Africans in Europe as well as Africa as a whole. Right, beautiful. And also, um, I would like you to go and check out my books online. I just have a new book online. It's called Colors of Love for Children. Check out my books, Samson Onoja Itodo on Amazon and everywhere. So I want to say thank you very much for, to all of you that's going to be watching this video. And please share, like. We need this to get our platform up there and then to promote our business. Thank you very much. I want to say thank you to, DJ, to Mr. Arafat. Thank you. Always a pleasure to have you. Yes, thank sir. you.